Welcome listeners and subscribers to another episode of Your Technology Questions Answered, a show about technology problems and solutions. I'm your host, Steve Smith, aka Z Axis. We are January 30th, 2011, and we are episode 18, Software Solutions for Hardware Problems. We'll be talking about hard drives, we'll be talking about RAM, because those are the only parts of the computer we can actually use software to test to see what the problem is. I will also be talking about the subscribe and win contest and modifications to the show note pages. So let's start off with the hard drive. Being it contains the most valuable part of your computer, the information and in the operating system. Now, I have told people before to make backups, and some people still have not made backups. At this point, some of you may have actually had computers that have failed, and you've never known why. Or you've known why, but you've never been able to recover the software, and you've basically gone through the loss of precious, unreplaceable information on your computer. That is why we need to make backups. Statistically, your hard drive is 50%, one, basically one out of two chance of failing in the first two years alone. And it only has a 5% survival rate after five years. A test through Google's servers with all their RAID arrays had actually shown that 50% of the hard drives had to be replaced in simply two years alone, and that 95% of the hard drives had to be replaced after five years. And I am counting all the previous hard drives changed before that in that whole total. That means only 5%, or five hard drives on 100, actually survived more than five years. So barring any crazy event that happens like tornadoes and crazed wives and husbands and kids and theft and all that, your hard drive fails or is about to fail, what do you do? You get spin right. That is the only program I can tell you that can diagnose your computer, maintain, check brand new hard drives, and possibly recover bad sectors or data on corrupted drives. It is the only software I feel comfortable offering despite its price. And its price, comparatively to the specialists, is virtually non-existent. It's $89. One one-hundredth the price of a hardware specialist to check your hard drive, replace the damaged pieces, and there is no guarantee that you get your information back whether you're using this program or the specialist. But if you're capable of loading your computer, and posting your computer. You put this disk in, it will try its damn hardest to do its work. And with no negative complaints against it, it is great at what it's doing. It's been around for years. For all those that are afraid of gimmicks, it's been around for many years. Try the 1990s. It's been around that long. Now, if you still don't believe me, go and check all the testimonials. Hell, Go and ask some of my personal clients that have actually offered the service of professionals to actually take apart the hard drive and replace it, or spending the $89 on the best software solution for hard drives. They've spent the $89 and never complained about the price, because it works. It does a low-level pass on the hard drive in ways that other softwares can never imagine capable of doing. It can get as much of the, soft, of the information on your hard drive, basically all your documents and all that, that you're about to lose anyway. And why not spend the $89 instead of thousands of dollars? It is the best software on the market. As long as the hard drive is functioning, it is the only software you possibly need. Don't spend money on other so-called copies of the software. They don't work. This will take six months if it has to, a year if it has to, but you will get as much of your data back as long as the hard drive runs. And there is no other thing you can possibly say besides reading the testimonials on our website. This program works like no other, other program I've ever used can work. It is capable of recovering everything possible. Bearing in mind, when you're using the software, it's usually an indication the hard drive is about to fail. Unless you do what as I tell you. When you buy a new hard drive or you have a current hard drive in your computer, you run the software. It will tell you 
if your computer's hard drive is sound. And if it's about to fail, it will tell you it's about to fail. At this point, you can actually recover all your data without having to run the full software and actually buy a new hard drive before you lose anything whatsoever. Now, the only other software that you need besides this one is MEM86+. Plus. This is for RAM. RAM does fail too. Sometimes it's actually the culprit of computers failing. Computers bugging, crashing, hell. Blue screens of death. Black screens of death, I believe they're now colored now because of the stigma. Still the same thing. But when you get a screen that says that Windows refuses to boot to prevent hardware damage or the operating system's damage, you might as well check it. When you run SpinWrite and the hard drive is not the problem, the culprit is normally the RAM. And when you buy RAM, or when you have trouble with RAM, you should get the software. And best of all, it's got the best price I've ever seen in my life. It's free. You go to MEMtest.org, or you can go to any virtual, virtually any Linux distribution, my personal favorite being Ubuntu, and you download it. Because you can test the RAM as many times as you need to see if it's actually corrupted or damaged. When it is, you change it. Unlike a hard drive, the only thing you're losing is the RAM. You go to the store with the RAM that's damaged and you buy yourself new ones. Avoid the cheap commercial kind that's from a companies like Kingston or whatever. Go and get yourself some good quality RAM. At this point, when you put it into your computer, test it again. See if this RAM is any good. If it's not, bring it back. Get new ones. And you keep doing that until it works. And the reason why I'm telling you good quality RAM, it's because they personally test every single one. I got OCZ in this computer, and running the test, it ran perfectly. It's running perfectly, and it's running faster because it's higher quality RAM. This program is free, like I said, on their website. You have multiple versions. Go on their website. You'll see they continuously update the software. If you've got a motherboard and RAM so new that it just came on the network, on the market you can still run the software and see if there's any problems but you can actually make a feature demand you ask it to add those RAM chips and motherboard and processor and it, they will add it and like I said being free it is the best price you can ever see there are other softwares even in Windows that do the same thing but they don't do it anywhere as fast and as nicely and as perfectly as this. These are the only software you need. All you need in your toolkit is Spinrite and MEM86 Plus to test for hard drives and for RAM. Any other part of the computer you're going to have to test by unplugging it and putting stuff that you know works in that place until you actually get the computer to boot. And if that doesn't work, you unplug everything in the computer except the power supply and the motherboard and the graphics card and you try starting the computer then. If that doesn't load, you've either got a problem with the motherboard or the graphics card or the power supply. But like I said, a hard drive and the RAM you can be tested with software. And you don't need to load Windows. They both run in DOS. And they both run in DOS natively by themselves. All you have to do is put in the jump drive containing it or the CD containing the software and they will run automatically. On top of all that, if you're running it from Linux, all you have to do is select the memory testing option in the live portion of the disk, and it will test the memory. And like I said, I was going to talk about subscribe and win contests. This contest finishes tomorrow night, midnight Eastern Time. You need to be 18, Canadian or American, registered through my website at www.zed axis.net and you need, need to be subscribed through either the YouTube channel and or the message board. If you head over to the website I have links to both pages that you need to be subscribed to so you don't have to worry. So fill out the form in the sections that you need to in a brand new form that I actually made that covers all the information I need to be collected so that I can actually reply in an orderly fashion and in mind, you need to stay a member and or subscribe until February 5th, 2011, midnight Eastern Time. Next week, Sunday, if I had a thousand people subscribe by tomorrow night, 
I will announce a winner at random of the $100 MasterCard Canadian Value gift card and actually send it to them through the mail or any other way that they prefer right after that. And on top of that, I was also going to talk about the show notes. Well, if you've ever gone to the show notes, you may have noticed I have a whole lot of links or had a whole lot of links of places that you can subscribe. Well, these places were iTunes, FeedBurner, and YouTube, and the podcast RSS feed. Now it's easier. Separated by audio and video, there is a link to subscribe directly underneath the video to YouTube. You can subscribe to the video version, which I'll be converting to M4V for all those who use iTunes, the iPhone, the iPad, or any other Apple product. And... MP3 for all of you other folks who want to just listen to the audio. So, head over to any page of any episode that you want to listen to. You can download the files directly. And you can also subscribe to any of the feeds that you prefer. So, that has been Technology Questions Answered. Have a nice day. Don't forget to register for the Subscribe and Win Contest. And let's see you all next week. Thank you and goodbye.